Hey guys, Steven here from Red Lessons and welcome back to another video everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and this is going to be a part 2 video of 10 cheap fragrances that smell like more expensive fragrances. I actually did a part 1 so I'm going to leave a link down below if you guys want to go check that out. So check that out, come back here, watch the part 2 and if you guys by the end of this video if you want me to do a part 3 let me know, leave a comment down below, I'd be more than happy to do a part 3. So you guys requested this part 2, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So these are 10 fragrances that I have in my collection that I think to some degree or another actually smell like more expensive counterparts so of course we know a lot of Creed fragrances have uh, less expensive counterparts we know a lot of Tom Ford's and Bonds and so on and so forth so I'm here to help you guys smell great for less so it just goes to show that you don't really need to spend 250 to 450 500 dollars on a bottle of cologne to smell great so these are great alternatives to make you guys smell great for less so let's go ahead and get into this list now I, I do want to reiterate that these are not 100% clones. So if you're looking for that exact smell, I recommend you go out there and buy that exact bottle. So if one of your favorite creeds is, say, Green Irish Tweed, right? There are a lot of alternatives out there. I would recommend, if you like GIT, go out there and get yourself a bottle of GIT. I think nothing is really going to mimic, replicate, or supplant the smell of the fragrance that you so love. So if you're willing to try something that smells similar, but at a fraction of the price, let's go ahead and get into it. These bottles are all around like the $30 range depending on which size you buy. Some of these can be had for less than $10, so they're really inexpensive, but they mimic some more expensive bottles. So the more expensive bottles that they mimic happen to be anywhere between, I want to say, $80 to $400. So let's go ahead and get into the list. We're going to start it off with number 10. Now in my part one, I gave you guys a knockoff of Creed's Aventus. And I think a lot of people really appreciate that fragrance. I've actually gotten to talking to a lot of subscribers who have had the opportunity to smell and own that fragrance. And they also can confirm and validate that it does smell a lot like Creed's Aventus. And Creed Aventus is a very unique scent, but now we're seeing all of these knockoffs, which I think make people think twice about buying it. Well, this is yet another knockoff uh, that I have in my collection. It's by a company called Lamani and it's called AB Spirit Silver. Again, I didn't... I didn't really do a thorough side-by-side. -side. When I reviewed it, I did, just to kind of pick up on how close they are. And for this one, I do think that they're about like 95% close to one another. This one isn't as chunky or as dense as Glenn Perry's Unpredictable Adventure, which is another fragrance that smells very similar to Aventus. But here, you got the fruity nuances. You have a little bit of the smokiness. You definitely have that sweetness with the oak moss and the dry down. I think this is a very nice and very nice alternative to Creed's Aventus for only a fraction of the cost. So AB Spirits, Silver by Lamani. Check it out. Number nine on my list is a fragrance that smells similar to Calvin Klein's Eternity. Now, I used to wear Eternity when I was much younger, and I've run through a couple of bottles of it, and now I found a, a less expensive alternative, uh, alternative to Eternity. I am actually not a huge fan of Eternity anymore, but nonetheless, if you guys are interested, this one can be had for less than $10. It's by the company called Cuba, or Fraglux, and this one is Cuba Gray, spelled G-R-E-Y. Really nice fragrance, kind of has that same clean, soapy lavender note up top. Re really nice alternative if you don't want to pay the designer price, but Eternity is one of those bargain bin fragrances, so even that can be had for pretty cheap, but this is an even cheaper alternative. Number eight on my list is an alternative to Creed's Green Irish Tweed, and I know this is probably the most common alternative, and is definitely the cheaper one. This is by Davidoff, and it's called Cool Water. Now, this one actually came out three years after uh, Green Irish Tweed, so some people say it's a knockoff. I don't think so. I don't think they smell exactly the same, but if you want something for a cheaper price, this is the closest that you're going to get to that. I know the other one is by Bond number 9, and it's called Che Bond. That one, I can confirm, smells very similar to Green Irish Tweed by Creed, but this is definitely the less uh, expensive um, alternative. So, Davidoff's Cool Water. Number seven on my list is a fragrance that actually nobody talks about it, and I think the more expensive fragrance that it's supposed to resemble um, doesn't really hit too well with other people in the community. They don't really favor this one. It's by the company Byredo. And a lot of people, uh, when they think about a Byredo fragrance, they usually think of Black Saffron or Pulp or Seven Veils or some of the more popular fragrances from this company. They have another one called Blanche. And Blanche is a dominant um, cotton-based fragrance. And it has a, a really nice, you know, kind of like a fresh laundry cotton sort of a vibe. There's actually a Bath & Body Works fragrance that smells similar to it, and it goes by the name Sea Island Cotton. 
And I think I got this one for like 20 bucks or something like that. You can probably find it online if you search enough. And after doing a side-by-side -side with Byredo Blanche and this one, I can tell you guys I probably wouldn't pay the high price tag for the Byredo especially considering I don't really like the smell, but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, something that just smells like fresh laundry and cotton, Sea Island Cotton by Bath & Body Works, and I think it's totally unisex. Number six on my list is an alternative to Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. Now, there are a lot of alternatives to that one. In, the, in part three, I'll probably share another one with you guys, but the one I wanna talk about today is called 4711 by this company, Moore & Verts. Now, if you're looking for a better performing alternative to Neroli Portofino, I don't think you're going to find that. And that's not necessarily the perfumer's fault. That's the nature of the composition. Very volatile citrusy ingredients, Neroli bergamot, whatever. So no fixatives means it's not going to last a long time. But this one is a really nice Neroli. And it's very similar to Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino, which kind of has me second guessing their price tag. Really great scent if you don't mind a, a fragrance that only lasts a half hour. But it's so cheap, you can carry it with you, buy the small size, spray it many times throughout the day and it's a high compliment getter as well. Number five on my list is actually a fragrance that smells like Armani Code. Now I know a lot of people aren't too crazy about Armani Code. I actually think it's one of the better Armani fragrances out there. I've had it in my possession since like 2007 or something like that when it first came out. And I discovered this online. I bought this one for like 12 bucks on FragranceNet. This one is by Yacht Man and it's called Yacht Man Chocolate. Really nice scent. It does smell a little bit cheaper than Armani Code, but I want to say it's like 90, 95% accurate. Kind of has that same powdery vibe, that chocolatey, olive leaf, woodsy vibe that Armani Code gives off. Make sure you check this one out. Now, I know it's called Yacht Man Chocolate, but it doesn't actually smell too strongly of chocolate. If you're looking for a chocolate-based scent, I would recommend Givenchy uh, uh, Play Intense. There are a lot of other great alternatives out there. I don't really think this is one of them, but it does have that heavy tonka bean powdery sort of a woodsy scent that Armani Code has. Number four on my list is a great, the best, and probably the only one out there, the best alternative to Creed's Original Vetiver. And that's a fragrance that I absolutely love. There it is. And I wear this one all the time. You'll see the level of the juice in my bottle is significantly lower because there's really no need to reach for Original Vetiver if you have this one in your collection. It's by Terry Mugler, and it's called Mugler Cologne. This one is also a fragrance that you can find heavily and steeply discounted online. It gives you that fresh, soapy, clean, uh, vetiver sort of a scent. Really nice fragrance with some hidden notes in there, like a secret S note. I don't know the whole marketing behind it, but this is a really nice fragrance. Make sure to check it out. Mugler Cologne. This one is an alternative to Paco Rabanne's One Million. Now, I know One Million is this love it or hate it scent. Some people go crazy over it. They wear it to clubs and parties and dates. And hey, it's a compliment getter, so I don't blame you guys. And I talked about another one in my part one video that actually smells similar to Paco Rabanne's One Million. I think this one can actually be had for about the same price if you look online, maybe even a little bit cheaper. This is by a company called Dosis Cologne, and it's called Hombre de Oro. I think uh, this is more popular in some other countries like Spanish speaking countries but I did find this one here in the US in New Jersey and as soon as I smelled it I said hey for the cheap price tag that I got this one for I might as well have it in my collection and I haven't really been reaching for one million because I have like two or three clones of it. So definitely check this one out. Hombre de Oro kind of has that same cinnamony blood orange uh, bubble gum sort of a scent. All right. Number two in my collection, I'm not gonna really doing these in any order, not like I feel like one is better than the other or anything, but the number two scent in my collection is probably the closest alternative to Creed's Millicent Imperial that I have gotten my nose on. I know some people talk about Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. Yeah, I kind of get it, but I think Love and Luck kind of lacks dimension. I think it's a really nice scent, garners a lot of compliments, but I think this one actually smells a little bit closer to Creed's Millicent Imperial. Plus, I think Ed Hardy's Love and Luck smells very similar to this other fragrance called Exceptional for Men, and people like really hate that scent. So it's funny how they hate that scent, but then they like Love and Luck. Anyway, not getting into it. This one is by Sean John, and it's called Unforgivable. So here's the small bottle. I think this is really nice scent. It kind of replicates that staticky, ambergris quality that uh, you know Creed's 
uh, Millicium Imperial has in the dry down. It also has those citrusy nuances in the opening, and I think it's very, very close, but for me, Millicium Imperial kind of has this regal quality about it that I think in, in many ways cannot be replicated. So make sure you try both of them before actually determining whether or not you want to commit yourself to buying a bottle. And the number one fragrance on this list, um, I saved it for number one because it's one that I haven't heard anybody out there talk about. And uh, I think this one smells similar to a Profumum Roma fragrance and a popular Profumum Roma fragrance. Uh, the fragrance is Dulcis in Fundo, and that's a very expensive fragrance, as you know, it's like in, in the $300 range. And that fragrance, 100 milliliter bottle, 40% concentration, it actually smells like an orange creamsicle. So it has the citrus, the orange, the really rich heavenly vanilla, and the dry down. I think there are two fragrances that smell kind of similar to it. The first one is by Laura Biagiotti, and it's called Womo. And this one, which can be had for less than $10 online, is by Cody and it's called Vanilla Musk. I honestly think this smells incredibly similar to Dulcis in Fundo. Now, of course, Dulcis in Fundo is the more natural smelling of the two. It's much richer. It's going to last a longer time. But again, you pay for all of that as well. This one for fewer than $10 is going to get you a very close smell. Again, not a carbon copy of it, but something that smells so similar to it that it might actually be worth the $10 price tag to smell similar to that. Very gourmand, very rich vanilla in the dry down, and then you have that citrusy nuance in the opening. Kind of reminds me of like a galbanum resin. You gotta smell it to see what I'm talking about. But I think it's a really nice fragrance, a really solid alternative to Dulcis in Fundo by Profumum Roma. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just trying to help you guys smell great for less. These have been 10 fragrances that smell like more expensive fragrances, except all of these can go for like $30 or less. So guys, thank you for watching. If you've tried any of these, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe for future videos. All right guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you later.